Yo, what's going on guys? This is Sid, aka Vicious274, coming at you with another review, and this time it's from my good buddies at Crackerwood Fingerboards, and I'm going to be reviewing a few of their products today, so get comfortable. Um, the first thing I wanted to show you is their grip tape. I'm just going to show you the pores there. This is a very nice tape, not very thick, and I just wrote Crackerwood tape on the bottom just to remind myself what kind of tape it is. It's a very nice tape, very soft, very grippy. Um, it takes a little bit to get you uh, to work in, but I mean that's expected with most foam tapes. But once it's worked in, it is beautiful. Now the first thing I'm going to show you is their, sorry, <laughs> right here. This is their lemon yellow Canadian maple deck. This one has high kicks and medium concave, and it's all Canadian maple plies. But what I would, what I really liked is the uh, the lemon bottom, and then he mashed it up with uh, some green trucks. And these are their own bearing wheels. And these are also yellow. It's very nice. I really like the color combination there. Now this deck, if I don't know if you guys can see, there's the uh, the kicks again. Sorry, and the concave right there. It's very nice. But it's smaller than most normal wooden decks. Now, what he, the reason why he did that is because he knows there's a lot of people out there that like the size of the tech decks. And uh, he wanted to give them that um, option of continuing with that same size, but yet on a wooden format. So again, you, can, you could get uh, Cracker Woods in uh, a variety of sizes. But he wanted to keep the actual tech deck size for those of you that like the tech deck, the tech deck size and shape. The only thing he did on this one is he raised up the kicks. But again, you also have the option of getting whatever kicks you want and concave. Now back to the the yellow bearing wheels. They've got a soft compound and a hard compound. These yellow ones are a hard compound, which. Um, make it very nice to to slide on they're still a little not i don't mean a like grippy grippy but they've got some grip to them but not to the point where you don't you can't slide or revert or do power slides now the only thing i don't know if this is the, the only happens with the hard compounds because I've, I've reviewed uh soft compounds and it didn't happen but there's a little bit just a slight just a slight bump in the uh in the wheels I mean, they still roll smooth, but um, I don't know if it's because I've tried to look to see if there was something that was on the actual wheel itself that I missed, like maybe a piece of dust or dirt. But um, there is a little slight bump. Nothing too critical. They still roll amazing. And um, in regards to prices, I, there's so many prices that I couldn't remember them all. So what I'm going to do is put the website down here so you guys can go check out the um the link on all their products that they have and they offer and their prices and i'll also put the youtube channel down here as well which is the sam is awesome i believe so you guys can subscribe to get product updates now with their wide trucks they just come tuned like regular tech tech trucks with the yellow tuning there's no pivot cups and um they have a wide variety of colors um i chose the green ones to go with the yellow deck because I think it looked really gnarly considering that it had the the yellow bushings in there as well so it's got the yellow wheels green and yellow bushings and yellow deck I really like that combination so that's that one and then I've also got this deck right here look at that shine this is the natural ebony deck it's more of a medium kick shallow concave deck you can see right there it's got some nice plies as well I also got their tape on here. It's very nice. These are the um, sorry, the gold Y trucks again with the yellow tech deck tuning, and then their white soft compound bearing wheels. And these wheels roll a lot smoother. I really like the white comp the soft compound wheels. And even though it's a softer material, again, they're not grippy to the point where you can't revert or power slide or anything like that now both these decks have very crisp pop very nice and um in regards to their performance 
I was able to control the the bigger deck a lot easier, more so because I have bigger fingers than the small deck. Although I did enjoy the small deck very much, this one was my actual preference out of the two. The pop was very nice. The only thing is that when I first started using the deck, I thought um, I thought the reason why I was having trouble getting used to it was because of the actual board itself. But it turns out that it was because of the grip tape. All I had to do was just keep at it for about a day or two. The grip tape finally worked in, and the boards were fantastic. So go check them out. They've got some wicked products and options for everybody. Again, you can get any size kick, any, t um, any type of concave, all kinds of different bottom plies, tr wide trucks, wheels. They have an assortment of products there for you to choose from. So go check out the website. It's going to be down here. And um, also their YouTube channel, so you can go and subscribe. Crackerwood Fingerboards is the company. Go check them out and keep fingerboarding. Two fingers, peace.